You know, Mike Bennett, I've been embarrassed a lot in my career. In fact, I've been embarrassed probably more than most people. But if you think on Ring of Honor television, when you pinned me, you embarrassed me, dude, I've been in a lot of fights before. And it broke my heart, but it didn't embarrass me. What embarrassed me was that you decided, because you're a wise ass, to take it upon yourself and sign on the dotted line and shove it in my face. Okay, I'll live. But then when you tried to just keep sticking it in my face, and all of a sudden, did I ever think in the almost 22 years I've been in professional wrestling that my shining night would be this guy? I'd have told you you were full of crap. But then here he comes, all 125 pounds of him, showing more heart than you ever did in the entire 10 years I coached you, trying to do what he could to run a little interference, to save this old man a little face. He came out like a winner. So what I did was what any man would do. I grabbed him and I took him into my arms and I cried for him and I walked back and I got him the attention he deserved. But Mike Bennett, well, Michael Bennett, because I guess the prodigy wasn't good enough. So now we're gonna have old lady bitch hold your balls in a spoon. You know what, she might as well put those in your purse because you ain't got them anymore. You're not a man. You're looking at two men here. And when men screw up, they try to do it and make it right. So you know what? We've been putting our heads together and we've come up with an idea and a challenge for you. Because I'd be lying if I said we didn't look our best that night. But we can do better. We can do better. We've been coaching, we've been practicing, we've been doing everything we can. And at 41, and at how old are you? 20. And at 20, we can do better. So we're going to do better. So Michael Bennett, if you think you can beat us again, why don't you try? Why don't you go find a partner? Go find anyone you want. Because we may not win all our matches, but I can tell you, we walk in unafraid all the time. And this kid has shown me more than you have. So find your partner, let's go to Philly, and let's fight it out. <laughs> and I have a feeling that this time you may beat us, and I said may. But this time, I think you're going to be the one embarrassed when it comes down to the team of... Oh, Drew Berger. That's good.